Hello, hello, and welcome to AI Search. I'm your host, Alfie, and today we're going to talk about one of the most interesting AI platforms I've seen in the past couple of weeks. This platform allows you to create and train your own custom chatbots, as well as use chatbots that were pre-trained by others. These bots can produce much more insightful and detailed results than using ChatGPT. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and also click on the bell icon for our future updates. With that said, let's dive right in. Here we are on the Mind OS homepage. Now, it looks incredibly simple, minimal, and straightforward. So they've essentially created these AI, custom AI chatbots, and they're called featured AI geniuses. So we're gonna try them out to see how well this does. So I'm on the free plan. So let's dive into some of these geniuses. So as you can see, there's an industry analyst. So I'm guessing this would be useful for businesses or consultants. Trip advisor, if you're going on a long vacation with your family, US stock analyst. We'll also try some of these. So let's start with the industry analyst. And as you can see, they've tried to add this character right here. So I think each genius is going to be represented by an animated character. And that's a nice touch. But let's see what it can do. So, all right. So there are some suggestions. I want to have an industry report about the gaming industry in North America. So let's see something very interesting. Let's talk about dev rule and industry analysis of brain brain chip interface and let's see what comes up so this is a very rare topic and not a lot of people uh, think about the brain chip interface industry so we're gonna look that up and see what it can come up with but I'm guessing uh, this platform this custom chatbot has been trained on information that's already out there. I just want to see how deep it can go and how it can review concepts that aren't as popular. So so this is it. So we're going to click on this. So as you can see, it's generated a comprehensive report about an industry that's not known to many. So brain computer interface. So it's pulled up uh, it's pulled out a few infographics from different websites. That's fine. And they've added the citations here. So that's, that's good. That's good. All right. Okay, let's see the text. Let's read this. All right, this is good. This has some relevant information. So that's, that's nice. It's given key players, market strategies, risks and challenges, safety risks, very important, psychological imp uh, impact, very important, non-invasive. All right, that's nice. Now let's see if it can give us a comprehensive industry report or something that's more popular. So let's talk about, I want a comprehensive industry report for the AR VR market please also do an in-depth analysis of the top trending thing AR products and global at all right let's see see what this comes up with so as you can see, uh, I'm using up my free credits, so I'm on the free plan. But this is pretty fast. It's going to relevant sites, collecting as much information as possible. And this animated character is not doing anything, it's just standing there. All right, so I think it's finished the report. Okay, here it is. All right, 
Industry report of ARVR, market share report. Wow, it's pulled up information and infographics and relevant pictures from different websites. That's very interesting. I just love how comprehensive this is. It has different sections. And so let's see, intro, market size, key players, other pairs, market trends, growth opportunities. See, they're talking about the Apple, uh, Apple AR VR products as well. I'd be surprised if I didn't see Apple on here. All right, market overview. Uh, okay, this is funny. Uh, all right, I think it made a mistake here. I couldn't find the exact numbers. All right, so I think it hasn't gone in depth, especially with the market size and growth part, but it's given a summary for everything else. That's nice. So I think it's it hasn't added anything of substance in certain areas, especially in this area. But this is a good start. This is a good start, but you certainly don't want to rely on it completely, but yeah, you know, if you want a first draft, this this should be good. And I think it also uh, depends on the kind of prompt. So, all right, let's try out some other chat bots. So let's see, Chip Advisor. Chip Advisor looks interesting. Okay, I would like to arrange a three-day family trip to London. Please make a trip plan for me. All right, let's try that. What well, you also try some things that aren't uh, popping up because I'm guessing uh, those have the best results. So we want to test this out with our own prompts. All right. All right. So this is the trip plan. All right. Okay, cool. So let's try this. So trip plan uh, duration, 14 days. Let's see, 14 days. Trip type, family, I think. Destination, Paris, hotel preference, luxury, uh, seafood, okay, seafood, uh, or right, let's see what it comes up with. Okay, you can either type it manually, uh, on the, uh, using the fields, or you can just, like, give it to the chatbot, and it'll do it for you, so... Okay, let's see the trip plan that it came up with. Trip plan for family travelers. Okay, day one, warning, Buckingham Palace, afternoon, Tower Bridge, Tower of London, Otto's French Restaurant, London, day two. All right, this is good, this is good. Let's see what, what it came up with for the Paris trip. All right, so there you go. Wow, this is brilliant. Beautiful pic- okay, not, the, not this picture, except for this picture. Beautiful pictures. Wow. Th this is the problem with some of these chatbots. It's- It could get it horribly wrong in some places, but nine times out of ten, it's pretty good. Let's see. Luxury apartment, Eiffel Tower. Luxembourg Gardens, Pantheon, Versailles, Palace of Versailles. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. Even better than ChatGPT, if you ask me. Especially if you if you're on the free version of ChatGPT, this is way better. All right, all right. Thank you, Trip Advisor. Let's try. U.S. Talk Analyst. All right, so... Oh, yes, yes. Uh, explain NVIDIA's recent growth. Give reasons. Give future projections. Should I invest or not? All right, let's see what it comes up with. Some of this it would be so helpful if you're starting off investing on your own. This is way better than just Googling information. This does all the Googling for you, gives you a report 
All right, so this is okay, and uh, it's writing the report. So we're just gonna wait for it. So when the stop sign goes away, that's when we know the report's done. Oh, all right, okay, so let's see. All right, NVIDIA news report. Wow, okay, so it's given sources, impact, neutral. So this gives you context, but also tells like what the impact on the stock could have been from this particular piece of news. That's good. NVIDIA outlook. Why the king of chip stocks won't be dethroned anytime soon. Bullish. All right. Neutral, neutral. All right. Okay. So this is, this is all right. Let's try, let's try product hunter. If you're starting off with, if you're starting a new business, you'd probably want to use this, but let's see. All right. Vision Pro. Vision Pro is a very interesting product. So let's do product analysis of Vision Pro. As you can see, I'm down to half of my available credits. I think it's for the day. This, all this used to take weeks to do. And now if you're able to do it in not even minutes, sometimes seconds, but let's see. All right, Apple Vision Pro, very interesting benefits, reviews. All right, I mean, this is fine. So that's it, folks. Th those are some of these chatbots. And obviously, you can create your own genius from scratch. I'll be making another video about that. Thank you so much for watching. For more updates and AI tools, check out our website, aisearch.io. The link is in the description. Until next time.